going to start well, with you then, you. Uh, Lawrence. You're That's there. Basically, Ben's taking over now. I'm taking over now. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Uh, Lawrence, <laughs> you're there, you're at the heart of it. I mean, you've been involved with numerous World Cups. Have you ever experienced a World Cup quite like the one over there in Japan? No, it's been uh, absolutely amazing over here in Japan. The atmosphere, obviously, right from the, uh, right from the start of the tournament. And uh, for a number of reasons, really, the first Rugby World Cup here in Asia, but also the way that the Japanese team played. You know, they were magnificent. The England team are staying only a couple of hundred yards away, just across the road there. And... Uh, We've seen a few of them mingling with the fans today. They're able to walk the streets of Tokyo and stay relaxed and stay enjoying themselves. That's the tough thing, isn't it? I think, um, obviously, I wouldn't know what it's like to be that kind of sporting expert any and achiever. Kind of expert. Any kind of expert, actually. Mm. But we've all done big things in our life, mm. whether it's a driving test or school exam. And in the hours and the, the day before, you sort of don't know what to do with yourself, yeah, do you? You don't know what to prepare. What will they be doing? What tricks do they use to sort of... Stay focused and calm. Well, as the two guys in the studio will know, they're, they're, they're actually very relaxed. Um, you know, Eddie Jones has got his, his way of working. They went out and did their, their final preparations uh, earlier on this morning for a very short period of time. Don't forget, they, they've got a lot of family and friends that are, will have been arriving in the last couple of days. So talk about things other than rugby and, and just try and keep very calm. Bumped into one or two of the players in, in our hotel, Owen Farrell, earlier on this afternoon. Again, you know, very, very relaxed. They know they're up against a, uh, a worthy opponent in South Africa. They know that they're favourites, but they do seem quite relaxed at the moment. And they could create history for us, Lawrence. You were there in 2003. We don't want to get ahead of ourselves. And but... Obviously, now they have to regather themselves and, and play against South Africa. And, of course, I was lucky enough to be there in 2003. But I was also there in 2007 when England lost, of course, in the final to South Africa. So there's a lot of people back home will be tuning in, maybe a lot of people thinking that this is a foregone conclusion because of the way that England played in the semi-final and possibly the way that South Africa played in the semi-final. But trust me, South Africa are also very, very calm. They are, um, you know, clearly not the favourites. They're not expected necessarily to win. And that makes them a very dangerous side. What I want is I want England to score five tries in the first ten minutes and then I can sit back and just really enjoy it. Is it going to happen, Hugo? Um, probably not. I mean, I go back to 2007. South Africa beat England in the first game of the World Cup. 36-0, and then they played each other a few weeks later in the final, and South Africa won 15 points to six. Huge amount of emotion, as well as all the skill that is on pitch, so it should be probably a tight. Will you be nervous watching Dylan? Nervous. Will you be nervous watching the final? Easier from the couch. <laughs> easier from the couch. <laughs> easier, than, easier than being either in the game or on the bench or part of the squad. Viewers who may not be into their rugby yeah. but will be watching, who should they be looking out for? Well, there's a few. Um, start with the captain, Owen Farrell, who's been imperious. Uh, Tom Curry and Sam Underhill. Eddie Jones has called them the Kamikaze twins. And Tom <laughs> Curry's up for World Player of the Year. They've been world class right throughout the tournament. Do you agree with that, Dylan? Totally agree. I reckon when you've got people like Courtney Laws, Billy yeah. Vonapola, Maro, to some extent, are just playing and playing well. Kyle Sinclair. But all the headlines have been about under Curry, about Curry and Underhill. <laughs> uh, these young guys have just come in and they're doing a great job. When you've got world-class players like Courtney, like Billy, going unnoticed, the big machine's just ticking over. It's in sync. It's, it's beautiful to watch. Ed, I love that. You know, when you start knowing them as under Curry, you know you're making it now. There's going to have, there's going to, it's going to be me like Waddle and Hoddle, isn't it? We're releasing singles. <laughs> oh, no, I know. It was interesting you asking the question to Lawrence about it changing his life. Yeah. I look at this squad and. I mean, there's so many different reasons to why they're inspiring it, but um, I think there's millions of people that want to get involved in the game. We're certainly loving it and can't wait to hopefully see them celebrate. Wow. No, victory. we can't. Uh, so the third place playoff is right after us here, and then, of course, the World Cup final will be live on ITV from 7 o'clock. <laughs>